Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on the channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to use this digital elevation model to create an um, elevation or topographic profile using an um, ArcGIS Pro. Right, good. So what we are trying to do is that we are trying to change the symbology of our data set so that um, we can have um, a perspective of the higher elevation and the lower elevation right good so by um, changing the symbology we can see that the red coloration represents a um, point of higher elevation and then this other bluish coloration represents a um, point of a um, lower elevation right and then we can also see from what the values of our digital elevation model so the first thing for us to do is um let's come to view then under view we come to convert we use the drop down and then we convert our digital elevation model to what to a local scene right good so we want to have um, a 3d view of our digital elevation model so that's why we have used this option good so um i haven't fixed that we need to fix what the ground data like um we have the elevation surfaces right good we have the 2d layer we have the 3d layer then you can also see the map from where we started and then we have the map 3d right good so what this um, elevation surface especially the ground under the elevation surface will help us do is that we want to define the digital elevation model with which the what the 3d layer can help us get what the topographic profile right good so we right click on that ground and then we add what the elevation source layer right good to add the elevation source layer you navigate to where your digital elevation model which is the one we are using where it is and then you select and then you click on ok right so that will now add what that digital elevation model as what the ground surface right good good so now that we have um, identified what we are going to use as our ground surface to be the projected them we can now come to analysis and then under the analysis we look at um, exploratory 3d analysis right good so we use the drop down there are different options we have the cut and fill we have the elevation profile we have the line of sight object detection and the rest of that however what we need on today's tutorial is this elevation profile right good so we click on it good so we have it somewhere here so we can see the properties if we want to that to um, comprise of the background the the line color the graph and all of that but let's create first so for us to create we can see what the distance in it now first thing is that the digital elevation model you should use um, should be a projected digital elevation model right good so you can actually see from the name we have projected them you can still right click and then you come up to the properties then you come up to source we see the spatial reference and then you can see what the um, projected coordinate reference system zone 33 and then you can also see the linear units to be in meters right good so this is a very important characteristic of your digital elevation model that you need to understand when you want to use it for um, operations like this right good so let's um, close that out so we have to change the distance units to meters and then um, for the creation method we have the interactive placement where we can just um, draw some lines interactively to now display what their elevation profile or we load them um, some vector data right good automatically generated or generate an elevation profile based on a line feature so we load some vector data maybe in shapefile or any other vector format that will now overlay on our digital elevation model that would help us to, uh, to generate the profile so since we don't have any layer we can use what the interactive placement so let us first of all start from this lower point so you draw a line you drag it to another point and then you double click so you can see the elevation profile has been drawn we can decide to raise it up a bit so that we have it um, 
in a better view let's still zoom this to layer good so from the interactive placement or from the line we have drawn you can see as we move or over the course around you can also see where the line is right good on our digital elevation model so by so doing you would see the elevation at whatever point it is and then the distance it has also covered right good so you can see the elevation is in meters and then the distance is also what in meters right good so as we over the mouse around you can see this point is very low which is the beginning and as we come up a bit you can also see that what the elevation is actually what increasing right good so now we also can export our graph or we can reverse the direction right good so let's draw another line interactive placement so this time around we want to come from the point we know that are of higher elevation and then we drag it down to um maybe somewhere around here so we are expecting what a very steep slope right good so starting from here let's take the mouse that's where we have what the point of um, higher elevation as we drag down we now get to what to that point of what um very low elevation which um can be assumed to be maybe a water body or whatever the case is right good from let's say the mountain top down to the valley and now before we export you know you can come up to the properties and then maybe change the configuration of the line maybe if you don't like it to be blue you can change it to red or whatever color you want it to be you can see we have um, different colors and then even the graph you can also change it to what to a different color you want it to be right good so these are some things you can also modify we also have what the statistics right good it shows what the different parameters that have been highlighted right good so let's now see how we can export what this same um, elevation profile that was gotten from this our uh, digital elevation model perhaps as them um, to be attached to your report right good export graph let's um, export as what as image good so we have navigated to the folder where we want to save it so we have an um, elevation profile dot png right good so you have different file types you can decide to select whichever one you want to use so let's just use the dot png and then we click on save so it has been exported we can also still export what as um, a csv table so let's see how that appears so let's still call this um profile underscore them right good that's our them profile and then we have a text file of what csv and then let's save so before we leave we are going to assess those two files that um, we have exported to see how they appear right so we have our elevation profile and then we have our profile them so let's open this up so you can see the um the image that was exported right good so the vertical axis shows the elevation whereas the horizontal axis shows the distance covered and then you can see what the different statistics that um helps us to describe what the elevation profile that um, we have right so let's see the csv good so we have our csv file that shows the id the distance and the elevation now we can see that the distance is cumulative so at each of these cumulative distances we have what their respective elevation right good so it starts from zero which is definitely where we started from and then by looking at it we can see that the value is i then if we scroll down to the end so you can see that the elevation is what is lower compared to what we have at the top reason being that our um our profile had what a steep slope starting from the top of the mountain down the valley right good remember that was how we drew our line so by perspective you can see that we have 219 as what the last point and then we have what um, 642 as what the first point which actually shows us how we moved alongside what the distance is right good so we have shown you today on um, RGS Pro how to draw what or how to create what your elevation profile and then we have exported our data 
in form of what um, an image and also what a text format that helps us to define the different elevation at the different distances so we are going to see you on the next tutorial if you have any question comments you can actually leave it on the comment section then we'll see how best we can attend to it as fast as possible so do have a very good time bye